Hello guys, I hope you're all doing really well. I'm really excited to welcome you guys to my new series on the CodeLab channel called Advanced CSS. Now in this series, we're gonna be using Advanced CSS properties, so no JavaScript whatsoever, to help us create really cool animated content for our projects, so we can turn them from static projects into more dynamic ones using just CSS. So we're gonna be kicking this series off with a really popular animation, and that is the card flip. Now the way this animation works is we have a card, or three in this example, which displays content in the front, and then when we hover over these, you see they'll uh, rotate a nice 3D motion and reveal more content on the back. And again, not only does this look cool, but it's actually really good for great space saving within our projects. Now this may look complicated and a bit intimidating, but it really is quite simple to achieve. All we need is four layers of markup in the HTML and about four or five CSS properties, which are a bit on the advanced side, but I will explain these in depth and how they all work. So you'll have a full understanding. Now with that all out of the way, we're going to go straight into it and we're going to start up with a HTML markup. So we've got a fresh folder here called card flip animation and we've got two files of index.html and style.css and we've also got an image folder which has our three images. And the first thing I'm going to do is just link the style sheet, so style.css and then I'm going to change the title to card flip animation. And we're going to go inside the body and this is really simple we only need four layers of html markup the first one being the flex container which all this is really going to do is just house all the cards and all the content and it's going to allow us to center our content in the middle of the web page next we need the card container so a div with a class of card container and what this is going to do is just house the card as well as the front and the back of the card and this will also determine the size we want our cards to be next so i'm just going to say the card and don't be confused by the way i'm laying this out right now it will make more sense in a moment but this class is going to be the actual moving class and when we set the hover effect on the card container this is the bit that's going to uh, rotate again i will explain in a moment uh, how that is all going to work but inside the card we're just going to have the front just say front and then we'll duplicate this and say back so we know uh, which side of the card it is and that's pretty much it for our markup all there's our four layers so we've got the flex container the card container the actual card with the front and back inside of it and all we've got left to do in here is just put the uh, rest of the content so first actually i'm just going to open this up the live server and inside the front card we have a, a div of front content and uh actually first we put the image sorry and then i'm going to say uh, IMG forward slash we enter the folder and we say Rocky challenge and then in here we're just gonna have a h3 which says Rocky challenge and then a UL with list items and I'm just gonna copy uh, the list items from the original file uh, just so it's a bit quicker paste those in there and then for the back it's just gonna be uh, say back content and we're just going to have a paragraph for only and then a h2 for uh, the price so that's going to be about $250 and then we're going to have a button which is going to say buy now and that is literally it for the html markup now we're going to get onto the basic styling so we're going to go inside the style sheet and i'm just going to create some global styles first so i'm just going to put a comment here saying global styles and I'm going to grab all the elements and we do that with the asterisk. I'm going to set the margin to zero, the padding to zero, uh, the box size into border box. Uh, the list items have got those bullet points. I want to get rid of those. So list style none. The next thing I want to style is the image. So I'm just going to make sure the images are 100% width of their container. Uh, their height is about 40%. Of the container uh, the object fit to cover so it gives it a cutting edge and then i just want to add a border radius to the top left so a curvature top right uh, a bottom right and then none on the bottom left and that's it for our images now all we need is some of the basic styling for the content so we need to create the card so first i want to create the card and we're going to say the card container uh, no sorry actually first we need to create the flex container so we can center our content so we'll grab the flex container the first layer and we're going to say display flex uh, justify content center line items to the center 
we're just going to set the height of this to 100 vh uh, which is 100 viewport so it's at the center of the web page now we'll create the width and height of the card so we'll do that with the card container class so it's going to have basic styling this is all going to be basic style at the moment so we want to set the uh, height of the uh, card to be 350 pixels and the width of these to be about 250 pixels and that's it for the cards. So we've created the width and height of our cards now. So we're gonna go and create the actual card. So here this has got the class of the card and we're gonna set the width of this to be 100% of the container and the height to be 100% of the container. This isn't really necessary, but uh, it's just for uh, clarity. Uh, and then we're gonna set the position of this to relative because we want the front and the back of the card to be positioned um, on top of each other inside this class of card. Um, currently right now um, the cards aren't um, positioned absolute at the moment uh, so that's what we'll do right now so the first one is front second one is back oh. and then just going to set the width of both of these to be 100% of the container the height of these to be 100% and what I want to do is just show the outline of these cards so uh, we're going to give it a box shadow of zero on the x and zero on the y but five pixels blur so now we'll see the outline of the cards so there are cards and again we want to position these absolute so they stack on top of each other absolute so they're positioned absolute inside the card which is position relative so now they're on top of each other so we've pretty much got our card now and that's really it for the basic styling all we really need from this point onwards is those advanced property value pairs which again are a bit on the advanced side but as i mentioned i will explain these as i'm going along so the first thing i want to do is just make sure that the back card is no longer displaying so currently we can see the back card there so i want to grab the back card and i want to set the uh transform of this i want this to rotate on vertically on the y-axis 180 degrees now what this has done is rotate the card and we can actually see the mirror image of the back card. So that's why the content is flipped on the other side. So now we need the next property uh, to hide this. So we're gonna do this on the front and the back. And this is gonna be the back face, oh, back face visibility to hidden. So this is essentially does what it says on the tin. Currently when we to rotate the back of the card, we're seeing the back face mirror. So if I comment this out, we're seeing the back face mirror image of the uh, back of the card. Then I uncomment this. Now the back face visibility is hidden, so we no longer see the mirror image, and that's how these properties work really well together. Now we also need to set a uh, WebKit back face visibility to hidden for Safari users. Now we're almost there, so one thing I wanna do before I uh, rotate or apply the hover is just set a uh, preserve, oh sorry, a transform style of preserve 3d I will explain what how this works in a moment but the thing I'm going to do now is just rotate this so we need a hover class now the reason I laid the mark up the way I did um, so we had the card and then we had the card oh we had the card container and then the card because if I apply the hover class to just the card which I'll show you guys now so the card hover and I transform uh, rotate rotate y 180 degrees and i'm just going to set a transition quickly of all 0.5 seconds you see that when we hover over the card it's really laggy and displays really weird behavior and just nowhere near as smooth as the original examples that we see here you see it's nice and smooth there's no lagginess and the reason this is happening is because as we're applying the hover to the card which is actually rotating so essentially the hover is rotating with the card if we set the hover to the card container which i'll do right now uh, just uh, card container hover on the card you can see now it has a much smoother uh, transition and um, that's because the card container has a fixed width and the hover class never moves and is always in the same place and that's why you see this nice smooth animation now with no lagginess and what I want to do now is just set a transition to the uh, card itself so we get a nice trans. Uh, transition back now back to the importance of the preserve 3d if i were to comment this out and i go and hover over the card again you see we actually get in the back face of the front of the card or the mirror image of that card so essentially what preserve 3d does is exactly what it says on the tin it preserves the 3d rotation without it we're essentially seeing the 2d rotation of the front of the card resulting in us seeing this mirror image so 
that's why that is really important. Now to really give it that really 3D effect, all we need to do is just apply the perspective property to the car container. So this is gonna be our last um, advanced CSS property. So perspective, let's say a thousand pixels. And if we hover over the card now, you see we get that nice little animation. It looks a lot more 3D. And that's pretty much it for the animation guys. You see it's really simple to create this, just a few layers in the markup and about four or five advanced properties. And you can create this really cool card flip animation. Now all that's left to do is just style the content. So feel free to leave the video here and style it how you like. But I'm just gonna style the front and the back quickly as, um, as well as inserting the other two cards. So what I'm gonna do is go underneath all of this and I'm gonna grab the uh, front card. So all the front content of this. So this has got a class of front content. So just wanna grab front uh, content. And what I want to do is just make the max width of this about uh, 80% and the margin of this to be auto. And then I want to text align the text to the center. Now underneath this, I want to grab the H3 in the front. Oh. Uh, yeah, grab the H3. And style that. So I want the font size of this to be, let's say, 18 pixels, see what that looks like. Um, maybe a bit bigger, let's say 25 pixels. Yeah, looks good. And let's add some margin bottom to split this with the unordered list. So let's say about 10 pixels. Maybe a bit more actually, 20 pixels. Oh, not margin top, margin bottom. Yeah, it looks good. And then I want to grab the, uh, par the sorry, the list items so I just want this to be uh, let's say the font size of these to be a bit bigger so let's say about 20 pixels and then let's just add some padding between them so we separate the list items so let's say about five pixels see what that looks like looks pretty good and let's just add a margin bottom to these so let's say uh, no not a margin bottom sorry a border bottom of about uh, dark gray, so triple three and about two, no, one pixel solid. And it looks pretty good. And I just want to remove the uh, border bottom on the last list item. So to do that, we need the uh, last child pseudo class, so last child. And this will select the last list, list item. So we want to set the border bottom of this to be none. And that's it for the front of the styling. So I'm just gonna put a comment here, front card styling. Looks pretty good. And then, uh, actually, I still need to add a border radius around the cards. So let's say border radius 10 pixels. Let's give them that rounded look. And then the same with the image. Oh, it wasn't border, it was border radius nice and see that now it's got that nice rounded edge on both sides so it looks pretty good and then now we just need to start the back so the back card styling uh, this has first I want to grab the uh, back of the contents so I'm just gonna hover over this so it stays on the uh, back card so I think it's just back content plus I want to center all of this in the middle so display flex uh, flex direction uh, column because when we set display flex um, the column and the row um, switch places so put them back on a column and then justify content to the center actually no I want this to be space around and then the line items to the center because justify content and line items switch uh, positions when we set the flex direction to column and then let's just put the height of this to be 100% so we're almost there. Then what I wanna do is grab the back content and grab the uh, paragraph and change the font size to about 20 pixels. See what that looks like. Uh, maybe 30. Yeah. And then the same for the, uh, the I think it's the H2. So back content H2. 
and we'll say the font size of this to be uh, let's say about 40 pixels nice looks good and then just to style the button and we're pretty much done so back content button so the font size of this I want this to be about 30 pixels I want it to be quite big and then so add some padding between the content and the border so let's say 10 pixels that's good and the border radius on this too so it makes it a rounded edge say 10 pixels and then I don't want any background on this um, background uh, none and that's pretty much it for the back of the card so it looks really good and I think we're pretty much done with that all we need to do is just uh, let's see what it looks like on that yeah I think we're pretty much done with that styling so we just need to add the other cards so it's really simple all we need to do is really just duplicate uh, all of this is it? and they're all squished up together so we need to go to the flex container and horizontally I want some space uh, let's say around nice it'll split them all up and then from here all we really need to do is just change some of the markup uh, so change the image uh, let's say uh, I think it's the desert for the last one yep and then say desert challenge and then you guys can change these how you want and for the middle one it's just going to be the snow challenge uh, say snow and again you guys can change these however uh, you like or use different images and that's pretty much it guys we've got our nice uh, 3d animation which when we hover over these we get this really nice smooth animation and reveals more content on the back so that be it for this video guys i really hope you enjoyed the video i had a lot of fun making this it's a really cool animation to create and looks really good on websites and gives them a really advanced look and a more dynamic look if you guys like the content please hit the like button and please consider subscribing if you guys have any questions please leave them down below and i'll see you guys next time